This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store Forge Dara Stout. Delighted to be joined with Felix Cash. We're back in the gym, you're out here. How's things, mate? How are we? Yeah, we're good, yeah. A good place, mate. Yeah, back uh, back training. Hopefully, have some fight news for, for everyone in there uh, in a couple of weeks. Absolutely. And we're at the Boxing Booth gym today. Um, obviously, a bit of change in scenery that is, that is likely for yourself. Um, what's this been like? How long have you been training here and, and how, how are things been? So I've been training there for a couple of months now, uh, I think the beginning of December, um, coming back, obviously I had the hand injury, so, um, you know, kept me out, kept me out of the ring for, you know, good five, six months last year, so, um, obviously I had to split with Tony, and uh, like everyone knows, and uh, obviously then, I was shopping around for a new trainer, and obviously done my, done my hand in the process, so, uh, you know, I'm training down there now, obviously, um, at this gym, obviously with Adam and, and, uh, and the lads down there, so, um, yeah, it's all good. I will just, I suppose, talk about the change in scenery, scenery for yourself. You was at the Matram gym for a long, long time. Um, having that split and, and, and sort of dealing with new trainers now, what's that process been like for yourself? Obviously, a frustrating one with the hand injury too. Um, yeah, obviously, it was, it was, it was, obviously it, was a, it was an awkward time at that time when obviously I had a bit of a split with him. But one good time was me and Tony, you know, still, still speak now and again. And, uh, you know, there's no bad blood there. But, um, yeah, moving forward, obviously I've been I've been boxing boxing my whole life. You know what I mean? Been on GB, diff, different trainers or anything. I can gel really with anyone really. It was, uh, it was just uh, one of them things, is, you know, fresh start, uh, you know, fresh eyes on me, and uh, you know, it will hopefully improve me. Well, talking about 20, 2023 for yourself, um, I think you know, don't want to put words into your mouth, but I'm sure it's a frustrating year for yourself. Um, I'm sure you wanted to have been in the ring. Looking back on it now, how, how annoying was that year for you where you weren't able to get in the ring? Listen, uh, it's obviously it was very stressful and very, very annoying, you know what I mean? I've done a good bit of training last year too, the beginning of the year, and uh, listen, things things never happen, so um, it's just, 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 just one of the things, part of life, you know what I mean? It's ups and downs, and uh, just got to just make, make up for this year. Is there, enough, is there an important thing for yourself when you aren't in the ring but you're still learning outside in a way? Like, even though you may not be growing by, you know, having the fights and this, that, you're still growing outside of the ring with, with different learning and the things like that. Listen, it's all about life, isn't it? You know, people change and, uh, and things happen, but it happen to people. But like I say, I think it's very important if you, if you are going to still be training and if you ain't, if you ain't, if you, you know, if you haven't been boxing, uh, do you know, in the, in the actual of having the fight nights, that, that you've still been in the gym and, and still been training because uh, I think if you have too long away and you haven't been still in the gym with training, I think I think coming back to like harder. And how much now do you, do you want to be in the mix? You've seen the middleweight picture move. Uh, a lot in 2023 with all different champions, um, you know, British champions, European champions now, both in the UK. I'm obviously a British champion, but a European champion in the UK. How much now do you want to be in, in that picture of, of those levels? Well, so I'm at that level. I've already proved I'm, you know, I was, I was better than them fellas before. Before, Obviously, I had, I had a few problems out of the ring, but, um, you know, I'm going to come back and, uh, you know, I'm going to get, get in these fights and these big fights. You've got Shiraz, Williams, you've got, you know, We've got obviously the British British champion. I can come back and you know have a fight there, but well, but I'm I'm looking at I'm, I'm looking for a world title. You know what I mean? That's that's that's, that's my goal. I've already won the British and, and done that. I'm obviously mandatory for the European too, still. So listen, there's a lot of options on the table there. Um, you know, I spoke to Matt Room and uh, and Adam. So hopefully we'll have some fight news there and pin, pinpoint well, you know exact date. Um, I'll be out, but it's, it's looking at you know it's looking at like the beginning of April. So. Um, we'll see what the is. is there an excitement factor with the middleweight division where you've got guys like Charlo and, and other champions who you necessarily you know, don't really know what they're doing, don't really know what's happening with the belt, so there's an opportunity for yourself to you know, put yourself in positions and, and coming up is an exciting time because where no one knows what's going on the champions, it's a perfect position for yourself to come up and, and make, make a claim for, for the world titles. Yeah, it's, um, it's, an, it's, it's, it's an important time anytime, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I think you just got to go for, got to get out there now. Maybe get get, get one good win, and uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be, everyone will be talking about Felix Cash again, and, uh, and talking about getting get, getting get start sliding in there, and getting getting fighting for a world title. And another thing that, that yeah, yeah, and another thing that people have obviously been talking about. Um, We've seen the matchroom in Queensbury five versus five um, in Saudi Arabia. Your name is naturally attracted to that when you see guys like Hamza Shiraz and Denzel, Be and Denzel Bentley and you know, other fighters like that. I know you said that you wanted to fight for world titles, but that, that must be an attractive proposition yeah, as well for yourself. 100%. It's, uh, it's going to be a big, 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 big event um, big, uh, and, a big, um, a big occasion, you know what I mean? So, 
and it's a big fight and it'd be a perfect fight for me for obviously to get, get people in Britain and, and, and the world, obviously the whole world will be watching to to um, to give one of them a hiding and, uh, and get my name back out there. So just a last one from me, when it comes to 2024, it's a year that we, we see Felix Cash really, really making a claim in the middleweight division, making up for, for lost time in a way. Yeah, 100%, 100%, he's been back out there this year and uh, do some damage. Felix, thank you for taking time to speak to me, really good to catch up with you and yeah, all the best for 2024 mate, appreciate it, thank you. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.